Hello everybody, it's me Ages Ed Quala and welcome back to season one of my modder series, Redone. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, as always, take away past Adrian. Hello everyone, it's me, Adrian Z Quala, and welcome back to Minecraft, the modded series. Anyway, I'm glad I back up my worlds because it's the best thing since fried bread. <laughs> But anyway, in the last episode, we killed the Twilight Lich. I have his trophy slash head here. You can't really equip it, but I think in newer versions you can. I don't think it really does anything. It's just cosmetic. But yeah, it just acts as a nice little trophy that I've put in my home. <laughs> my home. Anyway, so we have the. We're going to go to the Kingdom of Armored that I mentioned, which I believe is based off of an actual game. I've never actually played that game, but. Whatever. Anyway, if you guys want to know how to craft this, um, here's the recipe basically. You just need, you need just five mossy cobblestone like this and three obsidian below it. And then you get this weird, interesting looking port. I mean, look at this. It's so detailed. You can tell it's, it's interesting. Now, when testing it, I've noticed that when going to this dimension, um, bad things happen. Like, sometimes the game crashes. I also noticed the game... I also noticed that sometimes you spawn underground, so that might be an issue, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. And yeah, I'm going to make another portal just in case, I guess. We get like stuck or anything. I also want to make something from the mod. Okay, because you can make, funny enough, a tent from the mod. This is actually from the Kingdom of Armament mod. It's kind of, you can kind of tell because it looks just like this. But yeah, this isn't from the camping mod I installed last time. But yeah, it's its own cool tent. And yeah, speaking of the camping mod, though, I found that if you press F, you can open up the camping inventory and you can actually put your bag in here. Though I found that if you do and you die, you actually lose the item, so uh, we're not going to do that. But it is a, it's basically an alternative way to open up the inventory, I guess. If we need to look in there for whatever reason. We'll keep it on us for now. I also noticed some crafting, like, things here, but I'm guessing we can't use those yet. I'm guessing that's a feature for later in the, in the mod version, or if we have a certain item. But whatever, we, we don't have it right now. Anyway, let me make sure I have everything. We'll put this stuff away. Oops, I, I meant to make the portal. <laughs> what am I doing? I need to make a second portal just in case we get stuck or anything. That way we can return if... Return if we do get stuck. And um, we'll put them in this bag. Yeah, okay, I mean these bags are wonderful. You can fit an entire portal inside of them. Anyway, I've done some improvements around the house. I used the term house very loosely, it's a ship, but I've um, moved my brewing stuff, my brewing chest up here, along, so it's alongside my brewing stuff, and I added buttons to these like dispensers with like, I've uh, been storing my arrows and fire charges in. That way I can, I guess, shoot them. You can be a proper pirate. <laughs> and. I also added this ladder, which leads up to a crow's nest I built. I built this using the toilet forest blocks, or the toilet forest wood, and funny enough, this wood, if you put it in a crafting table, it becomes spruce wood. So there's no unique plant, so I just used the uh, logs itself. Anyway, you can get a nice view up here. I just kind of built up here so we can, like, have a nice look around the area. We can see all of the stuff we built. We can look out of the ocean and you may notice I have like a waypoint over there you may have noticed this in another episode I have that over there because it's basically one of those it's one of those it's basically one of those dungeons like the one that spawned below our house that we found it's like that the reason I have it as a waypoint just is just in case I need like more materials I can go over there and like farm it out with my own time or even on camera if you guys want me to <laughs> But yeah, I put it there just in case we need more like materials for whatever reason, because I figured that it's probably a good place to It's a good place to go. Anyway. Now let's go to this dimension. I'm gonna put the portal next to the Twilight Forest portal. And hopefully all goes well. 
Although last time I put it here, the game kind of bugged out. So I'm going to move. So I'm actually going to have... Actually, let's put the portal up on this hill. Where we have all of our stuff. Yeah, I don't want these bones. I'm not going to be needing them, and I've got plenty of bones to go around. Uh, we'll clear out the area here. Oh, that reminds me, the radish. I need to farm my radishes. You can you can plant them anywhere. I found just like you don't need water or anything, and they kind of grow very quickly. Also, the thing about the food is you can actually eat it very quickly. I mean, look at this, and it restores one heart, one whole bar of hunger. It's kind of like the um, it's kind of like in the newer versions how they have um, the kelp. I know, that's what down the portal. This is how it looks when you place it down. It, it seems to disappear when I look up here. But anyway, let's go through to this other dimension. To this whole new world. And hopefully the game doesn't crash. If it does crash, I'll just edit it out, I guess, in the future. But it, there's, for now, I can't really do anything about it. Hopefully we don't spawn in the ground. It's like we are. So I'm going to set a waypoint saying... Saying here... And yeah, that now, when we respawn, we'll know where to go. Now, let me tell you guys a bit about this um, dimension. There, there are mobs everywhere, by the way. <laughs> um, I've been, I've explored this dimension for a bit, like in my own time, just to test it out and stuff. And I haven't noticed any structures or anything. It's kind of, it's kind of one of those dimensions that has like. That that is that has a lot of mobs for you to kill, and you can kill that. And basically, from the mobs, you can get like different materials that you can use to make weapons. So it's one. It's kind of like that. I don't know if this is how the game is, because like I said, I never played the game. I don't know how true this mod stays to the actual game of Kingdom of Manama, but whatever. Also, normal mobs spawn here, so we can actually get like pigs and stuff. So we'll kill them, I guess. Okay, we'll use our bear packs to store away any of the stuff we get. But anyway. We've got this cool looking wood here we can grab. Which is glimmer wood. Anyway, we want to go head to the waypoint because that's where our portal will most likely be. Although I found some weird issues with the portals. Like, when you go through them to the other dimensions, you end out like... Well, you, you, you sometimes the portal on the other side ends out looking weird. I don't know why. Anyway, we'll head over here and see if we can help. See what we can do. But yeah, we shouldn't worry about too many mobs. I don't think I think most of the mobs spawn like at night time. So we won't have to worry about too many mobs, but you know, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I don't think this mod is too difficult. I think the hardest thing will probably be if we come across an, a mob that has to be in an inferno mob. That's probably like we did when we got it. <laughs> yeah, I do have the wand actually from the Lich. I forgot about this. Yeah, I'll show you guys what that does if we get an opportunity to use it. Okay, by the way, you will notice that this is actually kind of like the overworld because you can actually, like, you can actually, like, go mining and stuff. It's actually like Twilight Forest as well. There's a lot of good places to mine, I guess. But I don't think you can get any unique ore from, like, the mods. You can only get normal vanilla mod ores and maybe modded ores, but... So yeah, I think it's structurally the same as the Earth world. Although I do mo notice these mushrooms here, which is kind of cool. Kind of makes me think I'm in the motion biome. <laughs> the motion biome. <laughs> yes, because it's called the motion biome, guys. You, you guys have been calling it wrong with this entire time. It's not called the uh, mushroom biome. It's just called the motion biome because that's what you get from it.
Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I haven't noticed anything too much too bad about the mods. I notice these trees are a lot different though. Like, <laughs> like you'll notice these trees are a lot wider and a lot I guess thick. They're so thick. Yeah, we're just gonna kill these cows. They're just like normal cows, but you know, they're, they're different. They're slightly different cows. These are your fresh cows. <laughs> You get lots of meat from them. It looks like it's actually going to go tonight, which is kind of good. Did I get a diamond shovel from these guys? Okay, whatever. Put it in the bag. Put it in the bag. You know, I kind of want to get um, out into the open. It's all right if we don't. I'm sure we'll come across mobs anyway. I don't think you can sleep here. I mean, there is a day-night cycle, I noticed, which is interesting, but I don't know if you can actually sleep here because of that. But yeah, it's going to get really dark. I don't have any... Do I have my mining helmet actually on me? I think I might have bought it with me. No. no I know last time I didn't have it because... Um, it kind of broke in like off camera so I had to repeat so I had to make a new one I don't think I bought it with me though so we can't really have it right now yeah can I see these biomes are these called it yeah they're, they're unique biomes oh. yeah, and there's people yeah it's kind of dark and they dropped ooh I know I'm left Yeah, these aren't the nice people. Oh no, I ran out of durability. Good thing I have a steel leaf sword. Yeah, I bought multiple swords just in case. Yeah, I apologize sincerely for the darkness. It just gets it dark here, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm playing on max brightness though. Hang on, let me see this. Yeah, I'm playing on like max brightness. <laughs> You should be able to see pretty. I think YouTube and OBS make it, everything look slightly darker. What the hell is that? Oh, it's coming my way. Ow. Stay back, foul creature. Ah! Rare bandit. Okay, these guys are bandits, I see. Ow! Dude! Oh, he has rust! Okay, he killed himself. <laughs> he dropped a nice little axe. Yeah, we have, an we have another axe left. I mean, another weapon. Yeah, let's put out these fires. We don't want to start any forest fires here. I imagine that would lag a lot. Yeah, well, you know what we need? We need a dynamic light mod. <laughs> so we can just hold a torch out and just let that fight our way. Oh crap, there's another one of these. Okay, yeah, die. They're not too stuck and strong, thankfully. Okay. Yeah, unique spider. You dropped a poison snack. I'm like dying here. Hello? Okay, we got a blade. I think these are used to make weapons. This is what I mean. Like, the mobs will drop stuff, and you can use this stuff to, like, make things. Ow. Ow. Well, this is gonna suck. We'll let our health regenerate.
And what do we have? We have human. We have two types of human flesh, apparently. And I'm webbed. Extremely hungry. Let's try some of this flesh out, I guess. It can't be that bad. Okay, apparently it's not too bad. <laughs> you know, it, 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 it's the kind of human flesh that is good for you, you know. I mean, I may be a cannibal for eating it, but you know, it's delicious. I mean, it's human flesh. <laughs> No, there actually is a cam cannibal mod, <laughs> funny enough, as well. <laughs> Why? I don't know, because there's a mod for everything. Now, it looks like our uh, heal location did indeed spawn underground. I'm not sure what to do about that, actually. I guess I can go into creative mode and do some debugging, but that's all I can think of. Okay, these guys drop lots of flesh. I mean, at first I was I was I was gonna go against eating flesh, but now now I just now I just eat flesh. Okay, here's what I mean. This is here's our portal. So thankfully our our waypoint kind of helped us. I had a feeling this was gonna happen, so yeah, that's. This is dimension 25, funny enough. There you go, now we can get two back through here. So yeah, this is how the portal looks. I don't know why it looks like this, it's kind of just, it's kind of weird. We just have to worry about getting through the dimension. But yeah. I'm guessing with the old versions, they just kind of generate portals like that. Which is why it looks so weird. You know. Hi, how's it going, Cal? Let's see if we can get out of this forest. Might as well explore around a bit. But yeah, it's mostly just killing mobs in this dimension. Like, lots of mobs to kill. Loads of cows. A lot of darkness. Yeah, you can kind of see actually. I'm looking at the stream. You can, you can kind of see, which is fine. I guess I'm fine with you guys kind of seeing. When you can't see, that's kind of where things get annoying. Which reminds me, there actually are some like mods that do that. Like, there's a Slenderman mod where it literally just like it's like, oh no, you lost your vision. Yeah, what the hell is this? Oh crap! It's a bear. There's normal bears. And they're not druids. Things are getting grisly. Ah, ah, they're all over me. Every aura press. Okay. What did he drop? He dropped some crystals. Cool. Hello. This guy's naked. Ah! Then get off me. They're rubbing their nakedness against me. <laughs> Put some clothes on, man. I don't know what you can do with a tent. I presume it's just for cosmetic purposes. I don't know. The thing I noticed about the mobs though is they spawn everywhere. Like there's no like set location where these like mobs spawn. They kind of just spawn. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I guess it's a it's a very simple dimension. It's not too like Crazy. There's some interesting ore here. I like it made me look away apparently. Very bright. But I could just be because it's getting dark. What is this? End wood. Can you use this to make like an ender? Oh you can make ender planks, okay cool. So you can so this is the wood you can use to actually build with. And you can get some nice purple wood. That's actually kinda cool. Hmm. I don't mind myself some purple wood. Some purple. Yeah, oh crap, it's a bandit. He's like a skeleton. And there's another naked guy. And you kill all of them. 
They drop. They all drop gems, apparently. I'm guessing we can make weapons with this stuff. Okay, let's waypoint this area because this will be. This is, I guess, be a good place to fight mobs at night. At least there's lots of farm animals here. If you ever need, I guess, if you really want food and you killed everything in the overworld, you can just come here and kill everything here, <laughs> or farm them or whatever. I mean, everything's all these animals seem normal. I mean, they, they're a bit weird. I mean, they kind of run into you, but they're not like, you know, they're not unusual. Oh, I forgot my sword has fire aspect. I can kill these guys and get meat. And apparently squid spawn now. <laughs> Gonna get ourselves some fried chicken. Oh, that's just fried chicken. Hey, ooh, wolves! There's even wolves here. I kind of wish I kept those bones now for whatever. I think these are just normal wolves that just happen to be here. Hello, how's it going? You look very sad. <laughs> mm. I'm not sure these mobs, the, 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 the vanilla mobs, are meant to spawn here like wolves, but I, I assume I assume they are. I mean, this is their own unique dimension. This is a, a unique biome, so I guess they're supposed. So I guess they are meant to spawn there, because wolves only spawn in certain biomes anyway. So yeah, we got ourselves some wolves. What the hell is this? Oh, this is a tree I chopped down, of course. Hey, yeah, die! You face not Valthazar alone, but the Legion I command. <laughs> yeah, we're running out of weapons. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait till night time before we can actually do anything. It looks like night time is gonna come. I don't. I, it seems like night time goes faster, but I could be wrong. It's starting to remind me of Twilight Forest, honestly. Yeah, the sun is still out. Tomorrow. Sorry, I'm getting carried away. But yeah, this, the, the sun is still out, so I don't even know. So it, it's just very starry. It's a very starry day. We'll grab this wood. I mean, if we want to make something cool, we can. I haven't really made an actual house. Mainly because I kind of like the ship house. I guess I could make... Uh, I could I, I could literally make a bigger ship house, <laughs> but I don't see the point of it. We already have what, everything we need. I'm just killing all these chickens. I need that KFC in me. So yeah, I, I, this is probably like the best place I found to kill mobs is in planes in this dimension because at least then you're like at least then you can like see them and they're out in the open they can't really hide behind trees although that does mean you can't hide behind trees but you know that's a risk I'm willing to take but yeah there isn't any structures in this biome this dimension even although I, I couldn't find any anyway there might be a bite there might be something key I just don't know what it is the only thing I of noteworthy is these weird trees and I guess the unique trees they have. I'm not sure how the gameplay is in terms of the actual game that this is based off of. I'm guessing not like this, but <laughs> who could say really? Apparently it's based off of an MMO. Which makes me think of WoW immediately, but this is clearly not wow. Azeroth that does not look this fine. There's not enough there's not enough um novels. <laughs> not enough boards. <laughs> not enough rage. There's not enough anything. At least the planes look cool. Oh, these guys spawn here apparently. Okay, well are these considered actual planes? So yeah, these are considered your standard planes. 
Is there a plane? That's another mod I need to keep an eye on though, the airship mod. Because we can't make an airship. Where's this thumb right now? It's over there. So yeah, this place is just Twilight Forest basically. It's got a nice starry sky. It's got the sun in the sky just beaming down on us. Making us very hot and sweaty. There isn't much to it other than the mobs. And that's the end of this part. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <gasps>